everybody. It's Rose, and today I'm here to show you the second part of my first order from DIY Digital Art. So this is a store that I just um, first ordered from about a month ago, and uh, I showed you the first five beautiful diamond paintings recently. And now I'm going to show you the last five in this first order. And I can hardly wait to see what I got. Come and join me as we open these up. Okay, so let's get into it then. And so first off, we have what I call beauty and the code number for this is DM024. And I, when I saw this, I thought, oh my goodness. Yes, I definitely need this in my life. And this, oh, look at how beautiful the canvas is. Oh, wow, that is just gorgeous. There's not a mark on this canvas. It's perfect. It's perfect, perfect, perfect. And uh, let's just hope. I'm just trying to get the um, the curl out of it because it's uh, it's gonna roll up on itself. So all right, there we go. That should be enough. So beauty, and she is indeed a beauty. Wow. Um. So this one here is done in what I call the pixel style of um, printing and so I'll just bring you down on the canvas for a second so you see how every single bit of this is just the squares that make up the color of the drill so you don't have the original image superimposed on the canvas but this still looks terrific because the canvas is large enough that the detail shows through. So you don't need to have the superimposition method of printing for uh, every diamond painting. It's just not necessary. If it, if it was a problem, then square diamond paintings would not look good. As long as you've got the right size for your diamond painting, the pixel method will look terrific. And I think this looks terrific i just love the reds and the golds and the, the oh my goodness it's just it's just beautiful and her skin tone is made up of a lot of reds and um well we'll see when we get into the into the drills but yeah when i saw this i just thought this is gonna look spectacular when it's done so let's take a look first at the kit that comes with it it is a standard kit which is perfectly acceptable and then we've got these gorgeous colors here which we'll get into in just a little bit but first we're going to take a look at the legend there's one printed on both top and bottom ends of the canvas and they have dmc numbers the bags do not have dmc numbers that's okay and let's just see whether these symbols are good and legible. And to me, they look fine. So it's a mix of alphanumeric and symbols, um, fairly standard symbols. And let's just see what they look like on the canvas. For this, I'll put you up at 1x so that you can see it in sort of real size. And, ooh, that's nice. That's nice. That is really, really nice printing on there. There is nothing that I am finding hard to read. This was a beautiful mix of symbols and letters and numbers. And the people or the program who, uh, but there's always a human who has to sort of double check uh, a program before it prints out the canvas. And uh, so the person who approved this is uh, very good at her or his job because this is 
super clear. And there's nothing that's confusing in any of these symbols. Like there's nothing that you could even maybe confuse one symbol for another. Wow. Whoops, sorry. This is gorgeous. Absolutely lovely. I love it. I love it. And then again, let's just pull back. And you see, like my camera is maybe about two and a half feet away from the canvas. And look at how beautiful that looks. And the further we pull back, and for that I'm just going to go to um, 0.6. Look at how that's going to look on a on a wall. That's going to be so gorgeous. Okay, let us take a look at the drills. Now, today, we do not have any rose tribes um, because I just, I wanted to just choose these all myself. And um, I'm very happy with, uh, with the images I chose. And I hope that I'll be as happy with all the rest of the diamond paintings as I am with this one, because this is wonderful. Um, but, you may have noticed that DIY Digital Art is now listed as one of the eligible stores for the Rose Tries program. And so, oh, just I'm gonna just tell you, we have 20 colors here. In case you weren't paying attention, I didn't mention it before, but 20 colors and we have 20 here. So uh, what it means is that you can now go shopping in DIY Digital Arts well, you could before too, but now if you come across something and you're just not sure whether you want to get it, it's part of the Rose Tries family of stores. So you can send me an email at the address that shows up on your screen, ramblingrosedp at gmail.com and put Rose Tries in the subject line, send me the link to the diamond painting that you want me to try for you and tell me what it is about it that you're just not too sure about. Uh, you know, maybe you're not sure whether there's going to be enough color. Maybe you're afraid it's going to be a little too pixelated. Maybe you're worried about something else entirely. And, um, and that thing is, is the reason that you're not a hundred percent comfortable buying it. And I will check it out. And uh, I will very likely order it for you because I do tend to order most of the things that people send me. Um, and uh, if I don't order it, I'll let you know why it is. Uh, sometimes, for example, it's because I've already ordered something uh, similar or in some cases the same thing. And uh, so in that case, I'll direct you to the video uh, where I unboxed that thing. Uh, if it's for some other reason, I'll let you know what the reason is. Uh, but yeah, you can um, you can then be assured that I will do a detailed unboxing of your item and review of it in the same way that I've done a review of this. And then you will be able to decide whether you want that item or not. So um, yeah, I'm so, so, so happy to welcome DIY Digital Art to the list of eligible stores that, uh, that I'll accept Rose Tries requests for. Okay, so um, gotta say I'm very, very happy with this diamond painting. Now, I have not yet measured it, so let's do that right now. Here we go. So for those of you that don't know, the reason I measure is uh, so that you will know what size frame you're gonna need. So this one is uh, just shy of 33 centimeters, which is 13 inches. And it is just shy of 43 centimeters, which is 17 inches. So um, that's the size of frame that you would need. And you could get you know, a standard frame that's just a little bit bigger than that. Uh, by uh, if you put some washi tape or um, just painted the border uh, so that you had a little bit of a um, a little bit of a extra edge 
that uh, would show up. Or you could mount it on um, bristle board or fabric or a canvas, like a stretched canvas. Um, there's so many different ways that you could uh, prepare this for um, display in your home. Uh, it's, um, it's really amazing. Okay, so uh, here we have number 397, uh, Beauty. And um, I love it. I think it's gonna be absolutely stunning when it's finished. The drills look good. The colors are wonderful. This is going to just look fantastic on whatever wall you put it on. And I can already imagine it uh, framed or matted or mounted on a piece of canvas. And I'm gonna use like one of these colors as the border for it. It's gonna look gorgeous. Okay, so on to our next diamond painting. So next up we have a mandala and it is special shaped drills and I think it's going to be absolutely beautiful. Um, I never tire of my special shaped drill diamond paintings. I think they're beautiful, they're super fun to work on, they are very sparkly, nice kit, just plain, nothing special and uh, they give me hours of fun. And so I have a lot of special shape diamond paintings because they're just a fantastic little piece of work to do uh, when you're getting tired of working on a bigger project or you just need a break and something to lift your spirits because what doesn't lift your spirits when it comes to special shape diamond paintings? So this one here, Let's just fill up the screen with it. Okay, so this one here I call Mandala Flowers. It is number 398 in my inventory. And uh, the image on the website was absolutely gorgeous. And um, I said to myself, yep, gotta try that. And of course, this was all part of the first order that I made from DIY Digital Art. And so, I wanted to try different sizes, different kinds of drills, um, and you know, just to give you the best possible impression of the range of types of diamond paintings that they have. And in the future, I can uh, um, order some of the other diamond painting related products. Um, so let's before we look at the drills let's just measure it it is advertised as 30 by 40 canvas size and let's see what that translates to in drill area in case you want to frame this or mount it it's 34 centimeters across and it is 24 centimeters across so 24 centimeters that would be nine and a half inches so you need a 10 inch frame for that okay um, I really like this. It has 13 different kind of drills, which is quite a few for a special shape uh, drill diamond painting. And I'll just show you the symbols. Those are nice clear symbols. Um, the only way that this would ever be difficult is if you're colorblind. And let's just see. Looks like it's very clear on the canvas. Yeah, I think this will be nice to work on. It's not going to be um, frustrating trying to tell things apart. Ooh, there's a lot of these little symbols, uh, those little seed-shaped ones. I hope those are clear uh, crystal drills because I, that's going to look absolutely stunning. Yeah, this is going to be really, really nice. Yeah. Very, very nice. Okay, so let us see now the drills. And they, they do have color codes on them. So these little numbers here are the crystal drill color codes. 
Um, so that's nice to know uh, because that'll help me store my drills, um, the leftover drills when I'm done. All right, so let's take a look at them. Oops, let's go up in size. So we have these beautiful lemon yellow crystal drills and then these gorgeous deep purple drills crystal as well and then the ruby red crystal drills and emerald green crystal drills and I see a few that have little scratches on them but that's not a big deal because they always send way more crystal drills than you'll ever need. Uh, very rarely have I had a, an issue with uh, running out of drills on any of my literally hundreds of crystal drill diamond paintings. Um, or special shape diamond paintings. So uh, I'm not worried about seeing a few little scratch drills. You can't use the scratch drills because you'll be able to see the canvas through them. And even if you can't, the drills will look a little weird. And then here we have the clear crystal drills and that's number one for the coloring um, identification number for crystal drills. And then we get into the special shaped drills and these purple round ones with the facets and the iridescent coating, they are just gorgeous. And then we've got some more um, of the same shape and size and faceting, but these are more of a golden orange sort of peachy color. Then we have these um, sort of medium size round cabochon ruby red drills and then we have the blue sapphire cabochon drills and this one here that's got that little divot in it let's just flip it over so that we can see it from the other side you see how it has a little you can see like a bubble in it that's what those look like and I mean you can use them or not I used to throw them away now sometimes I use them and then here are those you know when I said I wanted the clear crystal drills well here they are look how many there are there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them here and uh, so they are the crystal uh, drills the seed shaped crystal drills faceted and they have the iridescent coating on them these are going to sparkle so, so much. I don't know what these code numbers here are. I've never seen those code numbers. Um, it might be the number of drills. Because here we've got 54, here we've got 56. Yeah, I think it's the number of drills in the package. So yeah, that's what that is. That's the number of drills in the package. So um, yeah, there's 700, almost 800 drills in this package. Oh wow, that's a lot of drills. But you know, it goes fast. So, uh, so this is gonna be super fun to work on. I am looking forward to this. All right, um, let us... I'm going to put the drills away and I'll be right back and we'll get looking at the next diamond painting. Okay, uh, so we're ready to move on to the next diamond painting. But just before we do, I wanted to um, just let you know, if you have not yet checked out DIY Digital Art website, why don't you do that now? Because um, one of the things that I noticed while I spent hours perusing their website and checking out, you know, as many different kinds of diamond paintings as possible before I made this first order. Um, one of the things I was so impressed with was the prices. Their prices are really, really good compared to a lot of the other stores uh, that you might be shopping in. So check them out because uh, I'm sure you're going to find stuff you love there and um, and you'll find it for a good price. So let's go on to the next item, which brings me back to my normal numbering. And this is number 670. And I wanted to do a full color blocked diamond painting because I have been intrigued by them for a very long time. 
I wasn't quite ready to go with a pure black and white color block diamond painting, but I wanted to do uh, one where um, it was a super, super, I, I just, look at this. The backs are just perfect. They came through shipping so well. The only thing that I have to do is just uh, get the get the little bit of curl out of them so that they lay flat on my table here. But, wow, this is beautiful. Okay, so yeah, I wanted to do a color block diamond painting. And they have a, a few that I, um, you know, was trying to decide amongst. Um, and I finally decided to go with this one because I thought there were like maybe four colors to it. Turns out there are 20 colors to this, which I find surprising <laughs> because when you look at it, it's black, white, pink, red, and yellow. Um, but... There's that incredible detail to it. And this is around, uh, yeah, this is a round drill diamond painting. For some reason I thought it listed as square on all my documentation. So I'll check the, um, the listing on the website uh, and I'll flash up on the screen if it's advertised as round or square. Sometimes I just make a mistake um, when I'm uh, adding an item to uh, my spreadsheet uh, because then I copy everything else from the spreadsheet. Um, but this is round and it is... It's interesting because... It's kind of a mix of pixel and superimposition printing method because it is all circles. There's nothing drawn on the, is there? No, there's nothing drawn on the canvas in between, I don't think. So this is um, sort of a hybrid of the two styles of printing because it's round uh, circles there's no squares and there's no superimposition of the original image. So um, this is interesting. Yeah, this is super interesting. Okay, I'm interested. Uh, but it gives a really, really good look. I'm looking at it through the camera now for the first time. It gives a super good look. I like it. Uh, and let's take a look at the legend. So this is... Um, it's a small, it's small print on the legend. Let's go up to one X, uh, but it's a good legend and it is uh, very legible. I like the symbols. There's nothing that I'm having trouble with. And then as we move on to the canvas, you see all that color blocking? That's going to make this go really, really fast. Um, because I'm going to be working with a multi-placer on it. And so I'll be able to do each of these blocks of color quite quickly. Um, see how legible everything is? Like, that's just fantastic. Yeah, I like this a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, see, there's no square pixels. Or are there? Oh, maybe. No, there's no square pixels. It's all circles. So it's kind of circular pixels. That's a nice, uh, that's a nice effect. It does a really good job of um, not making things look like often when you have a sloped line, when it's pure pixels, uh, what you get is the impression of stairs. And um, because it's, it's, squares of color and the only way to draw a diagonal with squares of color is to make it look like stairs um, but this is round circles and so it's it's a much softer smoother line if you will and the same for um, the band of her hat it uh, it looks rounded rather than stepped so that's a really really nice effect and it works really nice because there are a lot of curved lines on this image everything from her face to her lips 
to her shoulders uh, the, and her hands. Um, okay, I don't remember having seen this style of printing before, but I gotta say, it works so well with this image. Perfect. I love the way this was done. Just love it. Now, I know a lot of you don't like color blocking, and that's fine. Um, but I just, I was desperate to try a fully color blocked image. And I'm really glad that I chose this one. Okay. I'm going to get the drills ready to look at. Oh, and I'm going to show you the kit. And I'm going to measure it. Um, so I would expect that this is going to be like 33. Uh, sorry. Let's see. Probably 34 high. Oh, it's 34 and a half. Okay, so 35 high and 24 and a half. So I'm going to call it um, 25 by 35 because I always round up. Yeah, I got to say, I really, really like the canvases that DIY Digital Art uses. Um, they're, they're not thick. Uh, they have a little bit of rigidity to them, but not a lot. Uh, and not so much that they're going to really hold those mailing curls. Um, and none of them that I've received have been creased. So uh, really, really good canvas material that they use. Okay, I'm going to get the drills ready now to look at. Okay, so I've checked and I do have all 20 uh, bags of drills. So let's take a look at them. And I have so many ugly diamond paintings to show you today. <laughs> Um, and just before we get started, I think it's going to take me at least two diamond paintings uh, drill review to show you all of the ugly diamond paintings um, that I've been sent in the last few days. Um, just before I get started, if you have an ugly diamond painting that you have seen on uh, a diamond painting store website or you've seen it... Um, in your own stash because you get a diamond painting and it turned out either it turned out terrible after you finished working on it or uh, it arrived and it was not what you were expecting for some reason it was ugly uh, maybe the symbols were illegible maybe the drills were popping maybe um Maybe it was just too small, and so it turned out like crazy pixelated. Could be anything. Um, so whether it comes out of your own stash or finished projects, or whether it's a link that you send me from a website, send me the picture. I will include it in the next uh, diamond painting video, uh, unboxing video that I do, and we'll take a look at those during the drill review and um, yeah so like I say so many ugly ones in this uh, in this video um, will continue in the next unboxing uh, drill review because I wasn't able to show them all to you now okay so I'm gonna put these away and we are going to look at our next diamond painting Okay, so this is number 670, uh, Beauty, um, and I really love it. I love everything about this diamond painting. Fantastic. Okay, so the next diamond painting that I want to show you is a different kind of beauty. And um, if you notice, I call this video more beautiful diamond paintings from DIY Digital Art because there's just so much beauty in this in this order. So this one here is round drills. And again, I think it was advertised as square. So I will check that in editing and I will let you know uh, if it is round or square diamonds. And if I made a mistake oh well that's on me uh, if however it's advertised incorrectly 
I will let Ryan at DIY Digital Art know so that uh, he can ask uh, whoever it is who manages the website to update the description of the items. So here we have a standard kit with just a couple of bags, which is all you need. And this one here, now I've seen this image in a larger diamond painting. And I wanted to try it in this size because I thought it would look really nice. It could look really nice because it's um, because of the subject and the way the subject is painted on the original art. I thought it would look good in this size. And guess what? It does. Um, now this is the same printing method that we just saw on the um, color blocked beauty. So it is, it's not squares of color, it's circles of color. Now I say circles of color and yet it can't be just circles of color. So this must be the superimposed thing because if it was just circles of color, we would see um, white canvas behind the circles. So let me just take a look at this again. Maybe this is the superimposed version type of printing. Maybe, I don't know. It's, it's interesting because it, it just looks like a bunch of circles. And when you look at the edges here, it just looks like a bunch of circles because there are little rounded edges where, where the drills will fit. And this looks the same, but I'm thinking this is a superimposed uh, print method where uh, the original image is printed on the camera, on the canvas with uh, the circles for the drills superimposed on top of that image. Um, and I think that's probably why we get this beautiful detail and why we get, you know, the, the branches that look like branches as opposed to, you know, um, like that stepped thing that you would see if it was done in the pixel method. It's definitely not pixel method, for sure. And this has a lot of colors. This has 24 colors, which is great. And that also, you know, really helps to bring this image to life. And I like the fact that it's got these little flourishes in the corner. Now it does have the legend printed on only one corner of the canvas, which is fine for me. I don't care. Um, there are no DMC numbers printed on the legend or on the bags of drills. This is the simplest of uh, legend types. So it's um, alphanumeric with the numbers in order and then a bunch of letters also in order. Um, sometimes that can cause a problem, but this actually looks pretty good. And I am not having any trouble reading any of these symbols. Yeah, you see how all you see on the screen, oh, let me go up to 1x. You see how all you see on this on the uh, canvas are those uh, the circles for the colors, but then you do see the original image back behind it. So yeah, this is the superimposed method of printing, and I couldn't really see that until uh, I looked up close, like we are right now. Um, but that canvas is really nicely charted. I sometimes don't like the simple charting method where you just go, you know, one to eight or nine and then A to Z um, in, you know, for the colors in order, uh, because sometimes you get colors that are so similar because the DMC numbers are, um, you know, side by side and they're beside letters that are so similar. So. Um, sometimes that's a problem, but in this particular diamond painting, that is not a problem. And so this is going to be super easy to read. Um, I would easily be able to work on this without um, a light pad. 
although with the O and the beige in the background, sort of beigey gray, uh, you might want to use a light pad to help distinguish those colors if, um, if you find that hard to read. Uh, and maybe with the S's as well. Uh, but, I mean, that would definitely be your choice. I don't think you would, like, I wouldn't need to. I might for parts of it. But, um, yeah, yeah, I think I could do this without a, without a light pad. It's so pretty. And like I say, I've seen this in a larger size. And I'm not sure it looks a lot better than this. Yeah. No, this is really nice. All right, let's measure it. So it is 25 centimeters across and almost 35 up and down. So 25 by 35. All right, so I have checked and we have the 24 colors that we need. And oh my goodness, these are such pretty, pretty colors. So let's get going and take a look at these. And while we're looking at these beautiful, beautiful drills, we're going to take a look at some more ugly diamond paintings. <laughs> I, I tell you. I, I got to laugh at a lot of these because especially the ones with the sayings that don't match the picture. Um, I just, I laugh because they're just so awful in some ways. Super happy, happy pictures and, uh, and super ugly, ugly uh, saying. Uh, it kind of reminds me of the, <laughs> the violent femmes which had super happy, happy music with the darkest lyrics ever. Um, yeah, I love that band. Anyway, um, but totally disturbing lyrics. Uh, and that's what some of these diamond paintings remind me of. And then I'm saving for last the one of uh, the finished diamond painting that I got from um, the Canary Islands, uh, which I was so thrilled when I saw that uh, my viewer was writing and sending me this ugly diamond painting from the Canary Islands. Uh, I didn't know that anybody in the Canary Islands watched me, so that was super, super fun and made my day. Um, and I gotta tell you what I told her when I wrote back to her, uh, I can see how her diamond painting is, is she considers it ugly. Yes, I, I can totally see that. Because the original image is super, super cute. I mean, the two kittens and the moon, and it's just adorable. Uh, but it was in a, a small size. I think it's probably like a 30 by 30 um, diamond painting, which we know is like 23 or 24. Uh, by 23 or 24 uh, when you take the uh, the edging off of like when you measure just the drill area and so that is not a sufficient size to do justice to the image however as I was writing to her um, the image that she sent me like the thumbnail of the image was right above the area the box that I was typing into and it was like looking at the diamond painting from a distance and I could see all the detail in the thumbnail of her finished diamond painting so I actually think that that diamond painting from a distance probably doesn't look ugly but up close it's not a thing of beauty anyway I want to thank everybody who took the time to send me ugly diamond paintings because uh, they certainly make my day more fun, and um, I think we all enjoy the drill reviews a little bit more when we can look at, beside the beautiful drills, some ugly diamond paintings. Okay, 
So uh, that was number 671, pink floral round drills. I will check to make sure that uh, the advertising was correct and that I'm the one who made a mistake. And um, if, uh, and I'll flash up on the screen what the website actually says so that, uh, so that you know. And now we are on to our last beauty of today. And first I'm just gonna show you the kit. Standard kit, couple of bags happy and this one here is just a little one and I call this what do I call this I call this beauty um, and I saw it and I thought I bet you even in a small size this is gonna look beautiful and I'll tell you right now when I'm looking at it with my eyes her eyes look pretty awful but looking at it through the camera, they look exactly the way they should. And so what that means is that looking at this from a distance when it's done, her eyes are gonna look great, and this is gonna look great. And once again, this is the superimposed method of printing. And so you don't have any blocks of color. Um, well, what I mean is you don't have the squares of color. Uh, what you have are circles of color that correspond to the size of the drills that are printed on top, like over top of the original image itself. So there are no harsh lines, um, you know, the, the curved lines like her face, her lips, etc. It's not like squares and they don't look like bad computer animation from the 80s. Um, this looks really nice and uh, that is what I hoped for and I gotta say I am so excited that diamond painting printers are now using this method of printing because one of the reasons that for the longest time I never ordered anything smaller than 40 by 50 if I could possibly help it except for special shape diamond paintings was because I hated that pixel effect that you got with square drill uh, with round drills. Um, but now with this new method of printing, you can get a small diamond painting like this that has a face and lips and stuff like that in it. And you know, this little bird here, and it looks good because that printing, um, it just makes all the difference in the world. So uh, you can really, really expand on the size of diamond painting. Well, expand, not literally, but you can figuratively expand your range to include smaller diamond paintings. Uh, because if they're done in this style, uh, you'll get a, a good effect, uh, even in a small size of diamond painting. So this is just over 24 and a half, so we'll call it 25. And it's almost 25, so we'll call it 25 by 25. And once again, it is round. And this one was advertised as round. And I call this one Beauty. It is number 673 in my inventory. And I just loved this one. I thought it looked amazing on the website. And I crossed my fingers and I selected it to order and try for you because the worst thing that would happen is that I would get it. It would be really pixelated, not look good in this size. And so you would know better than to buy it. But it looks fantastic in this size. So I'm happy. Hopefully you'll be happy and um, everybody's happy. So let's take a look now. Oh, first, let's take a look at the legend and the uh, drill area. So we'll go to 1x for this. Um, so it is a, a fairly simple symbol set. We have the DMC numbers. The legend is printed on both corners of the image. And here we go. I just love this style of printing. I'm so, so glad that this seems to be 
the new way that uh, diamond paintings are being printed, around diamond paintings are being printed, at least by the companies that I've been working with. Uh, and I think often when we get the ones that are the pixel method, they have, um, they're the older stock. Um, not necessarily the older stock that's in the store, but they're diamond paintings that were designed back when the pixel method was the only way that uh, that round drills were painted. This is so much nicer. I mean, you really do get the sense of the scalloped edges to her hair decoration there. And, you know, the locks of her hair, they're, they don't look all blocky uh, and stepped like a bunch of stairs. Like her face, look at this, the curve of her face is so beautiful. Her lips are so beautiful. It's, it's really, really amazing. Oh, it's so exciting to me. And as we pull back, isn't she just gorgeous? I love this. This turned out so much better than I thought. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so let us now take a look at the drills. And I will just remind you, while we are looking at the drills, of uh, the project of the month for March and the projects of the month for April. It is really getting uh, maybe a little bit late for you to be ordering the project of the month for March. I'm not sure you're going to get it before the beginning of the month of March. You might get it partway through March, in which case it's never too late to start. Um, and so it's up to you whether you do that. Um, but by all means, check out the projects of the month for April. I have a large round one that I picked at random in my February 1st video. And I have a um, small square drill diamond painting that I picked at random that same day. And if you order them now, you will have time to have them delivered so that you can participate in the drill along uh, that I'm having with my uh, other viewers. And so what I invite you to do is send me pictures of you um, either unboxing or uh, working on or um, with the finished image of uh, the projects of the month. I ask that you not start them until March or April respectively, so that we're all working on them together. Um, and I'm just asking you to you know, be on the honor system and uh, don't start working on them until uh, the month that they're intended for, so that we can all drill along together. And then at the beginning of March, I will be picking May's project or projects of the month. So what I do is, if it, like I, I pick at random from my large projects coin bowl. And if it's a diamond painting that you can get in multiple sizes and or different kinds of drills, then there'll just be one project of the month that I pick. But if it's something that you can't get in multiple sizes or different kinds of drills, then I'll pick a different project from my small projects bowl and um, and then we'll have two projects of the month and I will do both you're welcome to do both or just one uh, and of course you're also welcome if you don't like those but you want to drill along anyway uh, pick another project that reminds you of that in your mind is of the same theme uh, and um, and you can uh, drill along and send me pictures of that. Okay, so uh, this is number 673, also called Beauty. So I have three diamond paintings called Beauty today. Um, and I can tell them apart by my inventory number, which is different for all of my diamond paintings. Uh, I just love it. So let's do a, a quick review of the diamond paintings today. I'm just going to lift you up so that you can see everything. So we have number 673, 
beauty. We have number 671, floral beauty. We have number 670, beauty. We have number 398, mandala flowers. And we have number 397, wait a minute, what did I call that? 398, mandala flowers. And we have number 397, beauty, uh, and the code number for this one is DM024, uh, because I think there's a few different images that you could choose from. Uh, that's the one that I got. Okay, so there you go, everybody. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this. I certainly did. Um, and I want to take a moment and thank all of my patrons. I have some new patrons. I don't know if you guys stick around for the credits, but I have a number of new patrons. And I just want to make sure that all of my patrons and people who are considering becoming patrons know that the next Zoom call with patrons is scheduled for Saturday, this Saturday, February 13th at 3 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I have posted uh, the link on Patreon that you will be able to click on and join the Zoom call. And um, yeah, I welcome all of my patrons to join. And if you'd like to join, uh, become a patron and you too can be part of our call. Um, I'm really looking forward to meeting uh, more of my patrons on this call. It's so much fun for me. I just love it. Uh, so yeah, do that. And I want to thank all of my subscribers and viewers. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already. Do take a moment to like this video, and I love to get your comments, so do leave them down below. And if you've got ugly diamond paintings, or if you have requests for the Rose Tries program, you can send them to me at ramblingrosedp at gmail.com. And that's it for today, everybody. Have a fantastic day, and do come back and visit with me again tomorrow. Bye-bye for now. I love you. Happy diamond painting.